Today's supermarket spotlight, bom preço. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome to So You Wanna Live in Bahia. My name is Kitty and I'm a gringa living here in Salvador, Bahia, Brazil for 11 years now. And I'm also a licensed real estate agent. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Like and subscribe, leave comments, you know the drill. I'd appreciate it. Anyhow, today we're gonna to go to Bom Preso in Baja. And if you've been around these parts, you'll see that there's two different Bom Presos. There's Biggie Bom Preso, and that one is huge. It has like, they sell tires, they sell stoves, appliances. That's Big Bom Preso, Biggie Bom Preso. We're going to Super Bom Preso. So let's check it out. Super Bom Preso in Puerto de Baja. And here it is. And in the beginning, you'll see, in the entrance, you'll see what's on sale, and you'll see that a lot of the produce is on sale. There is one day of the week that produce is featured on sale. What I like about this place is that they do have a lot of sales. Flowers, unfortunately none of them are fresh cut. So the produce is not, a little bit of lettuce. There's not a lot of fresh herbs. You'll see here on the bottom there's sort of the extent of fresh herbs. The basil here is very tiny. Uh, tinier than you'd see in the US. That's it right there, basil, majerica. And then for, so all the mod cons of the US and England and stuff you don't find here. That's the extent of the cut up fresh fruit. You can get a couple of sandwiches pre-made and you know, these other, you'll see down below here, prato feito, beans and rice with some meat. But it's not a big thing here in the supermarkets, all this ready-made food like you see elsewhere. Coming up, this is the eggs. The eggs aren't refrigerated here. I would recommend that you don't put them in the refrigerator as well. I've seen people do it and they seem to go bad quickly. Beju, ooh, beju is good. I recommend it. Um, the sweet ones. Now this is, beans are usually in boxes now. There's, they have the feijoada, but they, the basic beans they don't have today. But this is where you'd find if you were interested in buying pre-made beans. I'm just complaining, this is the only type of potato you can get here. I wish we had more variety, but it is what it is. Here's the bakery section. I think the breads are getting nicer. Sourdough is still hard to find though. Um, and then some more food you can take to go. The deli section. And then coming up, desserts. And then after this is the extent of the fancy cheeses and it's not very, not a great selection here. Ypres de Perini has a better selection for sure. Um, they have Gruyere, Emmental, Gouda. Not a lot of variety of good cheeses here. And then this is a bunch of Parmesan coming up. And then also sliced meats. For shoes that you can sometimes find, salami, mortadella. And sliced bread, if that's what you like to buy. Look, more specials. Now you can find sliced bacon, which is nice. You know, the best butter I've heard is by Itambe, and you can find their yogurt in Salvador, but I have yet to find Itambe butter here. If you found it here in Salvador, please let me know where. It's supposed to be the highest quality. And then, I don't know, Brazilians love crackers. Just want to show you how many different plain crackers you can buy here. And then for tortilla chips, see that yellow bag of Doritos? Those are called dippers, and those are just plain tortilla chips because plain tortilla chips are actually hard to find here. And then, oh yeah, Dulce Juleci. Why not, just experiment with the desserts of Brazil. 
I also want you to see here that creme de leche, the Nestle, down below here, that's cream. Cream comes in cans, you don't find it fresh, just like you also don't find fresh milk at the supermarket. It's on the shelf in boxes. So, now see this one that's $9.99? That one has the most fat in it. You can sort of tell by price how much fat is in the cream. And then here's some Brazilian desserts. I like sagu a lot. My friend Betty's good at that, she makes that. So you can get these boxes of desserts that you make at home. And then here, look, that's fermento. And this is also fermento, but they're different. In the package, that is yeast. And in the container, the first one I showed you, that is baking powder. As far as flour goes, there's only two flour types you can buy here. Um, type 01, right? They don't sell type 00 here. And then you can get it with confermento, which I'm not even sure if that means it's with yeast or with baking powder. Um, but there's the one there, confermento. Sauces, they got barbecue, not a lot of sauce options. Um, look at that, it's mayo and mustard together. Why well, never? Uh, the canned section, so they have lots of canned vegetables, but they don't do canned food like we do in the US. Um, Garanji Bico, that's garbanzo beans. And also, I just noticed this for the first time hummus in a can. Okay, I'll try it. And vegetables in a box down below. Coming up is my favorite bar snack food from Portugal. It's tremosos. Those are very good. The beans. And so they do have these cans of beans, but this is not beans on its own. It's feijoada. And I, to be honest, I haven't tried it yet. I'm a little bit nervous too. <laughs> Uh, pasta, one bummer for me is that I, it's super, super hard to find elbow pasta. So my mac and cheese and my macaroni salad sort of is lacking. This is the extent of the salad dressings. Not a lot of options. Though that said, other supermarkets do have more of these options. Bon Preso doesn't really well, plus is Walmart, so it's kind of surprising to me that this American company doesn't come through with more American food. Ooh, you guys, avoid these oils. It's not good for your health, okay? There's the coconut oil. And then another thing I wanted to show you all, the olive oils here, right here on the bottom in the can, is that's with soy, that Maria. So avoid that as well. It's not pure olive oil. They do have these flavored ones, manjericão, basil, alecrim, rosemary. They're expensive, see how they have this tag on them? And staple in all by kitchens, coconut milk in a bottle. And as far as uh, stock goes, you can only get cubes. They don't, it doesn't come in a box pre-made. There's not fancier versions. The zero salt one, I do not recommend. I thought it was horrible. The texture was really weird. And then the spice selection is pathetic. Like, only basic spices here. Not impressive. But you can get spices at other supermarkets. And then this is spices for barbecue. It's the barbecue section. And then, again, there's not a lot of food pre-made for lazy people. So this is pão de queijo, cheese bread, so cheese bread waffle, uh, hamburgers, and then of course pizzas. There's just not a lot of TV dinners and options like that if you're feeling lazy. Macaroni and cheese. And then, yeah, more hamburgers, chicken fingers. Um, you can see, see me in the reflection, hi. And acai. That's 
but it does have a butcher shop, um, which is nice. And again, specials on wine, the second unit is 30% off. They do have good specials on wines, I think mostly during the week. And Brazilian wines, I if it's a cheap Brazilian wine, it's going to be really sweet and I wouldn't recommend it. I've been told that Brazil makes nice wines, but at the price point the nice wines are at, I haven't tried them, so I don't know. They usually stick with Argentina in Chile. And do you guys for your kitchen? And in case you need them, they have chairs. Chairs for the beach. And this is, I was pretty excited to find. Also not super easy to find, but they have duct tape. See that? Yes. It's great. Flip flops, because it is Brazil. Pet food. I can't believe I almost forgot to film the chocolate section. So 70% chocolate is probably the darkest they have here. They do have this company here, Mandoa, and my favorite of theirs is the yellow. It's in the yellow packaging. It's uh, dark chocolate and ginger. So good. And then, you know, just a basic sales, but your basic mass manufactured chocolates. Hey everybody, I hope you found that was helpful. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Beijos!